everyone at my school enjoys the food the cafeteria serves us. And I do mean everyone. When the school serves french fries, tacos, burgers, and other fattening foods, even the kids with eating disorders eat it up. Personally, I don't mind the school lunches here. I will scarf down the school's nachos at a speed closer to light. The nachos here are delicious. And while the cheese sauce features chunky bits of solidified cheese, it does look good, if somewhat passable. However, I don't eat the lunches if it's meatloaf or tacos. No, it's, it's not like I hate tacos or meat in general. I'm a carnivore at heart. I love meat. But I don't trust the ground beef the school serves. The look of it just isn't right, and it smells... different. It resembles the smell of something rotten. I hate the smell because it reminds me of how roadkill smells. The smell doesn't hit your nose right away. It's hidden in the back behind the added aroma of salt and pepper and other ingredients with heavy odors. The taste is also somewhat wrong. The meat is full of hard bits that have a milk-like flavor, and which are hard to crunch. These hard bits are as white as bone, but do look fried. When I try to chew the meat, the taste is not entirely juicy and such. There's this aftertaste of something metallic. I threw up once after I tried it, and I will never forget the taste. It left a bitter feeling in my stomach. I ended up becoming sick for an entire hour afterwards. Nobody else notices the smell and taste but me. I've asked people about whether or not they smell or taste anything wrong with it, but everyone I ask just shrugs it off as nothing. Well, it's not nothing. It's not just something weird that I so happen to notice by pure luck. The teachers act weird on days when meatloaf or tacos are being served, almost like they are happier, more relaxed. You may think that they might just be happy because they love tacos, but it can't be just that. You can't tell me that nothing's wrong with the school meat. You can't just ignore the clues. Something bad is happening when they make the meat here. I don't expect you to notice this, but students who are in detention don't come to school afterwards. Students go missing during times where they are in detention all alone, but no one ever notices that they're gone, because they're troublemakers, pranksters, people who don't stick out. Their parents find out that they are missing when they don't return home from school after serving their time, and police are called, and missing persons posters are stapled to telephone poles. They are never found, alive or dead, and they are never seen again. The teachers are asked, and they lie. They lie that they don't remember him or her ever serving detention on that day. The police close down the case after no leads come up, and they move on. So does the school. So, have you ever wondered what is in the meat? And what happens to those missing students whose bodies are never found? <laughs>